Hi, my name is Mark Leake. Welcome to my new review on uh, single molecule biophysics techniques, which myself and my team have uh, written for you. It's a modern and comprehensive review and uh, includes recent progress made in this field. So um, for um, people fresh to the field, you may want to ask yourself, why do we bother uh, about single molecule biophysics techniques? Well, let me uh, take you over to my um, dirty whiteboard uh, to illustrate um, some of the um, some of the ideas. So, essentially, <clears throat> what is life? Well, um, energy comes from the sun, and in a nutshell, that can convert disorder into order. So this um, reverse direction from order to disorder is obviously the second law of thermodynamics. And so what sunlight, or sometimes energy from um, thermal vents in the ocean, um, will achieve is will input free energy um, into the um, thermodynamics of the system. And that free energy will then convert disordered states into, into more ordered states. And this ordered state um, can be our um, um, single cell in a tissue, it can be macromolecular complexes within cells, it can be organs, tissues within um, an organism. Um, so this part is, is biology. It requires an input of energy. Uh, okay, now if we measure molecular parameters, for example, let's just call them MP for molecular parameters. Um, then what we actually see is a sometimes a distribution of behaviours. Now, were we to take an ensemble average of this distribution, and you could see the um, average measured parameter would be somewhere about there. But looking at the whole distribution, we can see that well, in this case, it's got two peaks. It's bimodal. Um, so an ensemble average measurement will not be a, a faithful representation of this distribution. It doesn't render this peak. This peak just renders this number here. And why is that? Well, it turns out that actually order um, is in um, a state of flux with disorder. And so fundamentally, there is actually a balance between stability represented by order and instability represented by this disorder here. Uh, and you can see that depicted on a, a free energy landscape of um, a, um, a single molecular machine, for example. So if I um, plot the um, free energy here, G, as a function of probability, um, then for a molecular machine, what we might see is something that looks quite bumpy. And there might be a local minimum here, and here. And what does that really mean? Well, it means that at these local minima, there are intermediate states of stability. And what can actually happen is that there's uh, an energy transition between these intermediate states. And these intermediate states of um, metastability could be, for example, different molecular conformational states. So um, in a molecular machine, this could be a closed state. This might be a, a partially open state here. And this one might be, for example, a, a fully open state. So you can see the uh, molecular machi machine can transition between these states. And that really is how biology works. It works by having um, this metastability because the um, energy scale of these transitions is a few kBT. And that's the energy scale um, of uh, thermal energy fluctuations. So in other words, thermal energy fluctuations can drive these transitions. So we have water molecules here, whose uh, energy is of the order of kBT. And they can drive this, um, um, this um, system of, of instability. So it's a paradox, but fundamentally, 
um, there is a is a, a balance between instability and um, stability um, in biology and that's really how biology works not by having everything in a very ordered state but by allowing some level of a disorder in the system so that molecular machines can transition between different conformations and drive biological processes and so the reason why we need single bi biology um, single molecule biophysics techniques is to in effect sample these different metastable states because um, without single molecule biophysics techniques we will get an ensemble average result which doesn't tell us really anything about the underlying biology so really this is what um, this is what my review is is about it's about uh, these um, these different um, emerging single molecule biophysics techniques and how they can really uh, help us to gain unprecedented levels of, of biological insight and the um, the recent progress made towards them. So I hope you enjoy it and um, do give me feedback um, as to um, whether you think that the piece is any good or not. Okay, enjoy. <laughs>